Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Notorious Tech Club and today we're gonna do the full review and unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. If you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do subscribe. Click the red button below and do press the bell icon. Now let's get straight to the unboxing. The Pi 4 is the latest of the Pi series and they released it this June. In the desktop kit, we get the Type-C power supply, we get the official mouse from the Raspberry Pi, The full Raspberry Pi CPU packed in the Raspberry Pi case, which we'll get to in a minute. We get the Noobs memory card 16GB with pre-installed Raspberry Pi software which is a Debian based. We get some additional manuals. Below here we have the keyboard cord, comes with two HDMI cables cause it supports dual screen monitor setup. Yes you heard it right, it supports 4K dual screen monitor setup. And here is the official Raspberry Pi keyboard which we'll get to later. The official Mac Pi for the Raspberry. Now it's time to see what's inside the kit. Here is the power supply with a beautiful Raspberry Pi logo on it. I love the total white shade which they're given to it. The official mouse which comes with a beautiful red and white finish the keyboard is packed properly gives a premium feel And wow, it looks and feels amazing. It's a wired setup and that's how we set this thing up. And here is the Raspberry Pi 4 itself. It comes with two USB 2 port, two USB 3 port and a Ethernet port. Here is 40 pin chips. Here is the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, the CPU and the RAM which is the memory. The Type-C power supply, two micro HDMI ports and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Here is a space for the memory card. And here is the heat sink which I purchased separate for the Raspberry Pi 4 to keep it cool. It comes with a set of three heat sinks. I'll put the best buy links for the Raspberry Pi 4 in the description below.
Now I'll demonstrate how to set up the Raspberry Pi 4. Step 1. Take the power supply cord and attach it to the Type C port. Step 2. Then we take the keyboard wire and attach it to the CPU. Step 3. The HDMI cable which will be connected to one of the micro HDMI port and the other to the external monitor. We can do the same thing for dual monitor setup too. Tell me your thoughts on the Raspberry Pi 4 in the comments down below. Do like the video, share the video to your friends who are coders, hackers, ethical hackers. Thank you for watching my video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I'll put the link in the description down below.